G'day, how's it going? So today's wee video is going to be on the Matai tree, which is one of my favourite trees. Um, yeah, just a wicked looking tree, they grow really big. Um, it's one of our native podocarps, and yeah, they just grow, they grow massive, um, and they're just a wicked looking tree. Um, so yeah, there's one here behind me. I have to step back to get her all in the picture. And this is just an average size one. There's a lot like that size, some bigger. Yeah, one of the main ways to identify them are these hammer marks here and where they've freshly broken off bits of bark uh, it's quite a red colour like that quite similar to the metal tree in that way um, and yeah the leaves are so this is what the leaves look like And yeah, the juvenile form is quite different to this. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a video of that when I find one. Um, yeah, but the part that you eat um, on the matai tree is the berry, which is like a little black thing. I'll find some on the ground here. So they aren't the easiest berry to find, um, but at this time of year, which is autumn, um, we're at mid-April at the moment, so yeah, any time around autumn, give or take a few months, if you look under matai trees, like nice big ones like this, or even small ones can have berries as well you find these little black things on the ground <clears throat> so that's a matai berry they sort of taste like kind of like they look like they look like a little black currant um, They've got a big stone in the middle of them, so you really only suck like a bit of pulp off the outside of that. The trick is to just not get too into it and bite into the stone because if you do that you get like a real turpentiney taste. But the actual skin and the flesh around it was actually really sweet and really nice. Um, yeah, almost like a black currantie type flavour, um, kind of like Ribena, you know, because blackcurrants actually aren't that tasty. Um, straight off the tree they're quite bitter, but this is actually a lot sweeter than a blackcurrant. Um, yeah, so they're not bad actually. And yeah, it's not just the big trees that have berries. Some of the small trees are some of the the better cropping ones, it seems. This sort of medium-sized one here, and there's just so many berries on the ground, man. It's hard to pick it up on the camera, just how thick it is, but you can see they're just everywhere. Compared to the big one down the hill, which... Um, didn't have a hell of a lot on it, really. This one's just covered, covered the ground. 